Hi guys, it's Frankie from Frankie Tag. Good to see you guys again. And I just finished live tweeting and watching this Redmi K50 gaming event. And I'm going to share my full recap now of this event. It was a pretty solid release, guys. And to be honest, I actually expected, you know, not as much and not to be as surprised by this device. But it's a solid device, guys. But let's not waste any time and have a look at this recap. So starting with the design, and yes, we have some pretty cool colors for this phone. I like the blue personally, but yes, the Patronus AMG edition looks really beautiful. And they definitely wanted to highlight the design, all the racing elements of this phone. And does Lewis Hamilton use a K50 gaming edition? <laughs> uh, it's so funny. but. Here's the deal guys, there is a lot of beastly power behind this phone, especially with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 and a really new updated vapor cooling system with a 4860 millimeter square area. This should solve a lot of these issues we've been seeing with the Xiaomi 12 Pro and sustained gaming performance should be excellent with a 4700 milliampere battery powering it all. It's still a slim device at 8.5 millimeters and honestly guys I do think with this much power these devices need some serious cooling. You'll get it here with this added accessory but now talking about the display of this K50 gaming edition. A flagship display guys and Gorilla Glass Victus on this display as well. 1920 hertz pulse width modulation and A plus display made rating which is excellent. And of course we have 120 watt charging for that 4700 milliampere battery. 17 minutes guys but Xiaomi also made it a point to say that in 37 minutes even while gaming you can charge your phone and with a brand new cyber engine one of the largest vibration motors on any phone it's even better than the one on the iPhone 13 incredible now of course we have the return of the trigger buttons and they are enhanced with better water protection and just better overall an experience with these the audio experience has been much improved and we have quad speakers guys JBL sound by JBL Dolby Atmos support it really is just hitting all the right chords in terms of what gamers want with better haptic engines sound and vibrations and of course we have the cameras on this IMX 686 and a 596 front camera look I'm not gonna really judge a gaming phone but look the camera shots look pretty decent for what it's worth and I do think it will perform you know reasonably well in the camera department now full look at the specs here guys it's all about that cooling can it truly deliver with better haptics better audio can it do better than the Xiaomi 12 Pro with this Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. Comparing it here to the recently announced IQ9, what price will they give this beast of a phone? 3,299 RMB, that's 520 US dollars for the entry level. And you're gonna have price ranges all in the 3,000s, 3,899 for the top of the line. And then of course you're gonna have the AMG Petronas edition for 4,000 199 660 US dollars though for this much specs is incredible. I can't wait to check it out. So there you have it folks, a pretty solid device and coming in at 3299 RMB or 520 US dollars, I still think there's a lot of value here with this Redmi K50 gaming edition and if the cooling system is as hyped up as it's looking i think we may have the answer to the issues that i ran into with the xiaomi 12 pro only time will tell but stay tuned here for my full coverage of this device coming very soon but hit me up in the comments what are your thoughts on this redmi k50 gaming edition are you excited about it and would you like to see this as a global launch at some point too hit me up in the comments i'd love to hear about it and that's it for this video. If you liked it, give me that thumbs up. And if you love the content of Frankie Tech, subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell icon for future updates. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for more great content. A lot of new devices on the horizon. Stay tuned. And this is where I leave you by saying, this is Frankie Tech signing off. Have a good one. Pretty cool, guys. A gaming beast. No doubt.